Hi guys, it's Master Coach Tony Morgan and today's video is on a Gledil Boilermate A class. And in, in this video we're going to go through the diagnostics on how you test a PCB if it's faulty. So you can see this light flashing like this. And at this state we're not getting no heating, no hot water. So on this boiler mate, this basically heats up the heating and hot water, but this boiler mate is heated via a gas boiler fitted downstairs. So that's a pump, a primary pump, which pumps between the gas boiler downstairs to the heat store, which heats up all the thermal store. We spoke about the pumps on various videos before, but I'll quickly go through it. That's a hot water pump, and this is the pump for the radiators. So this is a code what we've got coming up and that's on the PCB. So basically our problem is we're not getting no feed to the boiler downstairs to start the boiler so this the gas bar downstairs can heat up the heat store so that's the problem. No feed to the boiler downstairs. So how we test is what we do, we go and look on this junction here, J3, and we need to test if we're getting any power to the brown wire going down to the boiler feed. We're also going to test to see if we get any feed into the PCB, which is the demand from the external controls. So we're going to be testing the orange and white wire on J28. So first of all we're going to start with this one and we're going to test between the orange and neutral to see if we're getting power going into the board. So that's where we'll start first. So what I've got now, I've got one connection there in the orange. I've got the one on the neutral and if you look at my reading and getting the voltage. So that means there's power going into the board from our external controls. So now I'm going to check on the white. Now we're on the connection on the white. On the neutral and we're getting the voltage. So that means the white and orange are working correctly and there's power going into the board. So now we're going to test what's coming out of the board going to the boiler. So we're on J3 now and I'm on the brown. I'm just going to go onto the neutral here, there, and you can see my multimeter. I'm not getting the voltage, that should be 230. So there's no power coming out from the board to the boiler to activate it and that is the fault. So that's how you diagnose if it's a board fault. If it's flashing like this and like that. The other thing what should be happening as well, we should be getting on this side of the PCB, that LED, we should be getting a vertical and there's no vertical. That means power should be going to the boiler. So that's another telltale sign. So we're going to have to change the PCB. So before you start replacing the board, what I suggest you do, take a picture of the PCB, the wires connected, then you won't get confused. And then once you've done that, then what I do is start removing these top plugs first. Bit stiff. Remove these first, then what I'll do then remove you've got a screw there and you one at the bottom, two at the bottom, move them screws, and then you can let the PCB come forward. On some of them, like this, you've got that's broke off, you've got a plastic clip there, squeeze them in. And there's one here as well, squeeze that in with your pliers. 
if not some time to come forward with the PC with, with that attached to the PCB then you just change them over which I'll show you what I've done I've lowered the PCB down I like to took the top top ones off load it down and then I'm going to put the new PC back on here screw it to the, to the base and then I'm going to take the wires off one by one and put it onto the new PCB what's going to be in position right so what I'm going to do um, I put the clips on the back there that's what I had and then I'm going to put the new PCB in position and then screw it up with these screws a better idea is to put the top plugs in first slap it fall in and then I'm going to push it up and put this securing screws on the board well, now that's in place I'm now going to just transfer the wires off this board onto the new one I transferred all the wires plugs onto the new board now as you can see so the next thing I'm going to do is turn the power on and then we got to program this PCB for this unit because we've got two options one's for a sealed unit it's our sealed system and one's for an open vent system so this particular one's an open vent system so we can be putting it on that configuration which I'll show you so what we're going to do we're going to press this button until we get it to let us see and I'm going to hold it in until we get an A like that this one to lock it in like that now so now it's back to normal operation that's what it should be as you can see there so that's it so it's all done and that's the end of this video too so just go over what you've just seen and um, if you like what you've seen give us a comment and I'll see you in the next video bye for now